This is Tina with 85th House Vibrations, and this is your daily reading for Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Thank you so much for your support. I want to apologize in advance if you hear any background noise, you screaming. I got my kids, they've got their company, They're just kind of getting ready for the holidays. So it's a little bit of chaos here in the house. So let's go ahead and get started. We have got the Ten of Wands reversed. We've got the Knight of Swords upright. And we've got the Six of Pentacles upright. Um, today I'm feeling like you guys are feeling like, at least some of you are feeling like that, um, you've gotten most of the hard work done. The things that were stressing you, the things that had you feeling weighed down, um, the things that you know you kind of felt like you were burdened with, maybe you feel like you had the weight of the world on your shoulder trying to get ready, not just for the holidays, but for life in general or whatever it is that you have going on at this time. Um, with this Ten of Wands reversed, um, it says to me that you are actually taking responsibility, you're taking the necessary actions, you don't have expectations for people to get things done for you, you have gone ahead and accepted what your responsibilities are, and now you are starting to lighten the load. You've probably gotten a lot done in these past couple of days, even if you had to stand back and take a rest, you've gotten enough done to where you feel like the load is starting to lighten that burden, that feeling of burden is starting to come to an end and you will find yourself being productive. Um, you'll probably find that it was a good idea to trust your intuition, to trust your instincts, to not let your emotions get the best of you, not let your fears or um, um, insecurities get the best of you and weigh you down. You're starting to feel like, you know, strong again with the king of swords here you've got your mind right you are up on your game you've got all of your information together whatever this is regarding you've got it together you're ready to make mental moves you are mentally prepared for what is coming today and um whatever's going on today i think that you you just can't be knocked off of your mental educational um uh, just your know-it-all throne, for lack of a better word. And with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like, I'm sorry, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you are, do I have that right? Oh, yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like today you are ready to share. And the more that you share, the more that you give today, the more this load is going to lighten. Because the more that you put out, the more that you're going to get back. You're going to have people that are willing to support you, to back you up, to come through for you. If you need some help, I'm feeling like you got that today. Um, everybody's seeing what you're putting out there, seeing the work that you're doing, and they're seeing that you are getting through your stuff. You're knocking it out. So, yeah, people are willing, no questions asked, to come in and help you. They see you've got your stuff together. You're on top of your game. You're knocking it out. They are probably standing back in admiration like, wow, look at him or her go. So, you know, in order to be a part of all of that goodness, there's a lot of give and take today in the best way. So um, let's go ahead and do the numbers, and I know this is a little quick today, but I'm lightening my load, so i got a lot to do. Um, we've got the Ten of Wands, so that's ten. The King of Swords does not carry a, a number association. And, you know, when I was saying, too, that, you know, you may have somebody that's coming in to help you today, it could be the King of Swords. If you are not up on your mental game, you may have somebody that comes in and gives you the information you need in order to uh, be able to accomplish this give and take. And there may be an exchange. You know, this person may give you something uh, via his words, via his wisdom, and you may pay for it. Or, you know, you may give them a meal, you know, something tangible. But there's an exchange of um, what I feel like is... Uh, uh, knowledge and resource 
between you and the King of Swords if you are not the King of Swords yourself. Okay, so now back to the numbers. We got the Ten of Wands, like I said, and then we have the Six of Pentacles, and we don't have a number association with the King. So 10 and 6 are 16, and uh, 1 plus 6. Well, let's talk about 16 for a second before I go. Yesterday, uh, in yesterday's reading, the tower popped up, and the tower is the number 16. And I think what has happened today is for those of you that that, pow I mean, that tower popped up for you yesterday, uh, today you move past those obstacles. And uh, the number association with the tower card is 16, so let's go ahead and narrow that down. 1 plus 6 is 7, and 7 is ruled by the chariot card. So this goes to show you've gotten past your optical, opticals. You've gotten, <laughs> you've gotten past your obstacles. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to plow through whatever is in front of you and get the job done. And I feel like that this is really in regards to what's going on with your family life, what's going on in your private sector of life. You've gotten past those obstacles. You're not feeling as burdened. You're feeling accomplished. You've got your, uh, your mental game right. You're ready to share. You're ready to give. And people are ready to give just as much to you. And that's the way I see it. So, you know, if anybody would like a personal reading, please feel free to send an email to Tina at 85thHouseVibrations.net. Thank you so much once again for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day.